What is up, YouTube? Good evening here, back at it with another My League Rebuild, and today we are re uh, we are rebuilding. Uh, as you can probably already tell, the Wiggins Warriors are gonna try to continue the dynasty. Before the video starts, you guys know, like always, make sure to drop a like, drop a comment down below what rebuild you'd like to see next. Uh, there's uh, still quite a bit of the trade ones that I have to do. If you're new, you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe, turn on those post notifications, but let's get to it. Obviously, I can't do any... I, I did start today. I can't really do anything uh, besides what? Maybe send a person to the G League or something, but everybody's injured, so I don't think that would work. I could assign one guy i'll sign alan i don't know how to say his last name i'm not even gonna try to butcher it but he's 19 years old he's gonna come back hopefully a little bit better than a 71 overall and then his regular progression helps and he becomes a super nice bench piece but like i said we can't really do anything besides simulate to the end of the season go to the off season have a great draft pick rumors there's been some rumors that they will explore wiggins and draft picks for another star to bring to the team which honestly kind of makes sense but my job here is to keep wiggins it's obviously a rebuild re re uh, revolved around him so draymond green might be that guy that we throw in uh have cpu rebuild because Allen was probably getting some minutes i'll see you guys at the end Check stats really quickly which really don't matter and then get this get this off season rolling pretty sure it's gonna be the same awards as always Giannis, then morant then uh dennis then Kawhi, then bam then mike yep okay there you guys have it we finished 20 and 62 we should have a top three pick i'm hoping of course we don't make the playoffs let's just go check these stats uh i mean curry finishes with 28.8 i don't know how many games he ended up playing uh wiggins 22 eric 12.4 so gotta build around curry wiggins and obviously once our boy Blake thompson comes back he'll be a decent shooting guard he never averages crazy numbers uh after that injury but we'll see in real life and then maybe they'll maybe 2k will change him up a bit lakers win the nba championship and anthony davis is the finals mvp 33 and 11 with five assists 1.2 steals 3.2 blocks 64 percent from three okay okay but now the dynasty continues i'm gonna try to win right away we need to especially with aging uh uh clay thompson and aging steph curry we need them right now at their peak and we gotta go see what we can do maybe by flipping dre maybe by flipping that draft pick we had the best odds of landing the number one pick we fall to number four it's not the worst thing in the world but it kind of makes me want to explore trading that for sure. I wouldn't mind having an absolutely ridiculous Derrick Rose off my bench. He's an 85. Don't know how much he goes down this offseason or if he goes up. Uh, I'm guessing a little bit down since he is 31 years old. But winning and getting a ring for our boy D Rose would be insane. I do not want to give up this top five protected pick. They we would technically be, be moving up for some reason. They want they kind of are offering that, I guess I should say. But I'm gonna add second rounders. The second rounders here that are probably no, I need Wiggins. I'm pretty sure I need Wiggins for this, but I will throw in nothing but second rounders and we'll go from there. And then I'll add even another player, which will probably make this go through. Can I finesse the Bulls for a power forward without giving up our pick? Um, I think I might be able to. I'm going to throw in second rounders first, and then I'm going to throw in a later first rounder. Get a, a, a young Lowry Markin and should be on here for one more season. And we got to give him the money, but that's okay. We'll have his bird rights. We'll have the ability to bring him back. Maybe even on a qualifying offer, but that's all our seconds. It's not going to go through. I will add a tie. I kind of want to keep the T-Wolves pick. Top three protected. I'm expecting them to actually I'm expecting them to make the playoffs next season. They probably have a nice pick of themselves right now. They have D-Lo, they have Cat. It's just, they're just going to get better as well. So, we'll go from here. Maybe add another player. They agreed. I hope that was a second rounder and I didn't just tweak. Second round pick, second round pick and the first round pick. We still have our lottery pick to trade away if we want to, which is a great step forward. Um, of course, we just lost quite a bit of defense, but a stretch forward to add to the already ridiculous shooting that we're going to have. If I can move up and secure Wiseman, that would be great while also getting a backup Derrick Rose. I'm here back at Derrick Rose, but I don't want to give up a 2021 Warriors pick. We should be in the playoffs, by the way, and that pick won't be worth anything. But I believe right now we can use a uh, we could use it uh, better. We could use it a lot better uh, than what we are doing right now to just get Derrick Rose and move up to the third pick. I believe at least, so I'm going to throw in another player, even if it is our bench. We'll find a bench for sure. I like Jordan. I like Allen because they're going to improve, and they'll be pretty... They're cheap. They're, they're on rookie scale contracts, and they're going to improve to be decent players off my bench. Do I give him Eric? 
Do I give him Eric instead and then keep these two guys? I don't know. I mean, Allen's going to improve. I'll throw in Jordan Poole just because he's 21 right now. And they're going to say no. Okay, let's see if I throw in Allen instead. Throw in Allen instead. They want Wiggins. Okay, I'm going to throw Eric. I'm going to throw Eric in. We just got Lowry. That's fine with me, man. As long as I don't have to freaking give up another first rounder. This one, we're just technically moving up and we're getting... Oh, wow. Screw it. I'll do it. It'll have a super sub off our bench if he stays at an 83. If he only goes down two this offseason, I'm hoping he stays the same. Uh, maybe just some of, his, some of his areas go down, but... Derrick Rose, please stay in 85. If not, I might just be able to flip him for Dennis. Dennis would be an absolute monster off my bench. But 2020 first rounder, which is the third overall pick, we'll give him the fourth overall pick and we'll give him our next year's unprotected, sure. But we're going to be in the playoffs, a contender again. Wiseman still out here. I'm absol absolutely going to take him. Um, welcome to the squad. Looks like Lake Thompson's an 87 overall. Not what I want to see. Uh, D. Rose doesn't go down, so that is great. We could either trade him midseason if we want to. Keep him for the rest of the season. Don't know how much money he's going to ask for in the offseason. Lowry goes up two. Wiggins goes down one. Yikes. Uh, Pascal goes up to a 79. Wiseman obviously stays the same. We signed Glenn Robinson. Damian Lee uh, as well. Still back here. And then Allen and Jordan Poole. I might send him to the G League one more time. They might be at the end of our bench. Especially Jordan Poole. He's 21 years old. Um, improve his development. Then he's going to be on his rookie scale contract. We could trade him away. We could keep him as great uh, bench pieces. But right now, you guys know what I like my benches to be. 80s and above, or at least borderline 80. That's not what they are right now. For some reason, the Spurs were willing to trade DeJounte Murray for Derrick Rose. Kind of dumb on that end. But, I mean, why would you give up your 24-year-old that is on a pretty solid contract for D. Rose? One-year contract. Going to ask for more money. Probably going to decline at the same time have the trade exception to allow us to bring in Derek white as well i believe um or actually the money that murray is making but i'm gonna see if this can go through they clearly want lowry we can't give that up but i will give up first for this because one it improves our bench he, we have we'll have his bird years to sign him back he'll be a great shooting guard backup uh, murray will be a great point guard backup defensive monster when we need him we're not getting enough back I will give you a first rounder 2022 instead of Kadeem Allen, give him Damian Lee and they won't, maybe they won't complain as much about having no backup shooting guard spot. Damian Lee, two first rounders. Oh my gosh. Oh, they want Kadeem instead and they'll give us Luca. They're kind of tripping. They're kind of big tripping. What are you guys doing over there, Spurs? They're getting an old Derrick Rose. They're getting a young Damian Lee, uh, two first rounders, which is nice, but those are not going to be lottery picks whatsoever and they get kadeem okay all right here is the lineup for this first uh full season i guess because last season we didn't really get to do much so this is our first actual season curry thompson wiggins lowry wiseman and then we have murray white eric kenneth farid i signed in free agency now we have luca who's still going to continue to improve as a young guy 20 years old so we might be able to flip him for something better even a better bench piece uh have two super subs off my bench don't know. We'll see what happens. Glenn Robinson's only here for a season. And then I sent uh, Jordan Poole and Allen to the G League. Allen, I also gave an untapped potential. So he's probably going to improve pretty drastically this offseason with the G League. With his own improvement, that man's going to be like an 80 overall easily. And he will be maybe our second pretty great super sub behind Murray, who's probably going to improve. We have him signed. I need to sign Lowry. After signing Lowry, I think we should be good for a couple of seasons. Yes, this season, next season. Sign Curry back when we can. And uh, yeah, let's try to win more championships. Don't know if this one's going to do that exactly, but we're deep. We have some stars. I, I, what else can I really do besides maybe trade for a superstar if I could or clear cap to sign a superstar, which will be kind of difficult. But I like the squad right now. We'll see what happens. First full season, Giannis is the MVP. Wiseman is the rookie of the year. Yusuf Nurkic, sixth man, defensive player, Kawhi Leonard. Chris Stops is most improved and coach of the year. Rick Carlisle, four games ahead of us. So, okay. We're back. We're back on top, kind of. Curry makes an All-NBA 13 because he probably has a lot of help 
uh, and a backup for him. So Murray even makes an all-defensive second team coming off the bench, ladies and gentlemen. The man's a monster. And of course, Wiseman makes an all-rookie uh, all first team since he won Rookie of the Year. We're second in the Western Conference. What is the entire... Wait, not yet. Uh, what is... Where am I? Where am I? The entire league. What are they looking like? Okay, so... Mm, we're as good as the East and second best in the West. Okay, I wish I was kind of a lot better than everybody else, but that might not happen just quite yet. Curry, 22 and a half. Eight assists a game, almost two steals. Wiseman, rookie of the year numbers right there. One and a half blocks, 1.6 steals, 3.6 assists, 9.2 rebounds, 17 points. Thompson, 16. Lowry, 16 as well. Can Im definitely improve his shooting all around. Uh, Wiggins, 14 points all the way down here. If only he was a defensive stopper, he would bring so much more value to the team. Murray, 11, 5.5 and 5, 1.5 steals. Uh, insane. Insane. Super limited minutes, too. 25.7. That's what he was getting last season. Eric off the bench, 7 and 3. And White, 7 and 2. And 4 assists almost. So, okay. I like it. Fareed, 5 and 5. And minimal minutes. Now we see what happens in these playoffs. I don't know if we win right here. Are we uh, Okay, we're not going to get upset by Memphis. So, that's a good thing. Phoenix has got to be decent. Rubio, Booker, Kelly Oubre Jr., Dario, DeAndre Ayton. So, DeAndre Ayton and obviously Booker improving uh Macau bridges interesting i think we should beat them but you never know with 2k we do 4-1 them now we're up against the number one seeded dallas team who had trouble with minnesota didn't have trouble with the lakers so i mean they got a 77 and 80 airs 79 okay wait they don't look that insane they got a nice bench but they don't look that insane they're insane 4-2'd us. Maybe I should have simulated with SimCast. It might have been a little bit more realistic. I honestly think our team was better than theirs. Top to bottom, we just looked a lot better. They lose to the Nets, and I'm hoping we win from here on out because our guys are going to get older. A lot older. Kyrie gets finals MVP. Maybe I try to make more moves to actually try to trade for some crazy difference makers. That's what I want to see. Nothing but green. Uh, Thompson even goes up in some areas. Uh, Murray goes up three to an 80. Was he an 83? Okay, but he's an 86 now, which is insane. Uh, Lowry goes up three to an 85. Wiggins goes up two. That is, yes, thank you. After going down one, that was so sad. Anyways, Pascal goes up two. Wiseman goes up four with his ridiculous uh potential uh white only goes up one allen goes up six like i told you guys i sent him to the g league and i gave him untapped potential last off season oh gosh uh our bench is all 80s for sure jordan Poole goes up six two i didn't give him untapped did i give him untapped potential i don't think i did i did send him to the g league though so maybe that's just all g league right there uh going up six overall luca goes up three just naturally guy we got in the trade for with murray you guys might think this is dumb we have way too many power forwards off my bench with uh luca with allen eric we don't need him i think luca and allen are have one at least one more season on the rookie scale yes both of them do jordan pool is here when i could switch over to small forward but he's only six four i'm gonna get matisse i'm gonna make him small forward he's six five a little bit more size and uh wait i said i had luca and eric anyways i'll have a allen i'll have allen at least as a backup uh luca will go with them eric will go with them keeping allen because i think his potential might be higher and he'll improve uh with a better overall matisse just more defense more defense off the bench when we need it or maybe even coach starts matisse once i switch him over to small forward to be honest my bench is an 80, just like I like it, and uh, we'll go from here. We'll see what the best system proficiency is. Balance is ridiculous already, so we're definitely leaving it on balance. I'm hoping uh, the fact that we're so deep, it, it, it helps us, one, have an insane regular season, two, reach the finals, win a championship again, and continue this dynasty um, that's kind of been broken up a little bit. Uh, but we got to get back on top with these Warriors and with Wiggins as well. Obviously, this is completely unrealistic. But even with me making it unrealistic last season, we couldn't pull it off. So we'll see now with the improvement of all these young guys. The season definitely ended a lot better. The start was really iffy, but we finished pretty much the same record. How? I don't know. Did we not improve? Did I not get better bench? I don't, I, I don't, I have no idea. Giannis, Monster Numbers MVP again, Rookie of the Year, Bull Bull, Six Man of the Year, Bull Bull, averaging 25 a game. Uh, that's ridiculous. Kawhi Leonard, Defensive Player, Most Improved, Tyrese, and Brett Brown, 63 and 19. Uh, I don't, why are we struggling? 
maybe we're too deep maybe we have too much depth i don't know what it would be but it sucks it sucks golden state warriors all defensive second team again marie is an absolute monster during the second half i kind of changed the coach settings uh i put matisse in as a starter because um more defense starting we already have so much offense that I believe having defense start would make a difference. That was my thought process. We won more games in the second half for sure. Player stats, 28.7 assists. He doesn't need to score 30 a game. Wiseman, 19.5 and 10. 17 for Lowry, 15.6 for Thompson. The offense is there. Second seed again. Um, Here's our lineup compared to theirs. They got Towns. They got Russell, of course, 290 overalls. A nice Jared Culver, Isaiah Stewart, Tim Hardaway Jr. Nicola, Josh Okoji. Their team's nice. I still think we're better. I still think we're better. We beat Phoenix last season, unless they changed something. Uh, George Hill instead. Julius Randle, okay. Uh, they still have Ricky Rubio, though, off the bench. Alfred Payton, Jaleel, Cassius Stanley. I still think we're better. I still think we're better. Now we're up against Dallas. Fifth seed this time. Otto Porter, Maxi Kleber, Seth Curry, DeLon Wright. I still think we beat them. Thank you. We're back in the finals. That's what I freaking wanted. I think we're the better team. We're the more uh, experienced team as well. Give more minutes to Steph Curry. Give less to Matisse. No. I want my defense to start. We're at home. I'm I'm just kind of scared of Drummond. And in all honesty, I'm scared of Drummond. But I think we should have this in the bag. Win both at home. And I mean, like I said, we have Curry. We have Thompson. They've, won they've done this before. Dynasty is back. I'm going to see if I can get something better for Derek White. And we'll get even better. Swept them. 4-0. Steph Curry. Finals MVP. 11.3 assists. 21 and 11. With ridiculous shooting numbers. Let's get it. Let's go see if we can win two more in a row. And actually get a three-peat with them. A lot of green. And uh, a little bit of red. But his inside defense is not the biggest deal for us. Uh, Curry goes up. Murray goes up to an 89. Lowry an 89. Wiseman up 5-4 for Matisse. Which now he's better than wiggins so that's a yikes that's a yikes uh how many more seasons is on his contract one more season so steve kerr wanted to start wiggins again but i just think it's a smarter idea to start matisse uh defensively i think it's a lot better we went we reached the finals relatively easily i'm hoping it happens again and then a three-peat and the video there the dynasty continues, please. Giannis MVP, LeBron James Jr., Rookie of the Year, six man, and his canter, Anthony Davis, defensive player, most improved, Kelton Johnson. Steve Kerr, 63 and 19. We finally reached the 60 win mark again. Wiseman makes an all NBA second team, so he is a star in this league, of course, at an 87 overall. Anybody else? All NBA third? Nope. Murray, though, continues to make an all defensive team off my bench. The man is a monster. We are the number one team. Are we the number one team by far? Nine games games nine wow do we get past dallas and eighth seed of course they have a 99 luca and 83 blake and an 89 chris stops porzingis um we're struggling holy crap okay we're up against mini now they're fourth seed we've beat them before but culver's better i don't know if hardaway's better d'angelo for sure is better isaiah's better carl anthony towns might be better um and their bench is kind of nice yeah their bench is kind of nice um we 4 0 them. They are trash. Never mind. This team, though. Okay, wait. 80, 82, 90 Ingram. But once uh, there's so many. Okay, never mind. He's still doing really well in these playoffs. Zion, of course, has got to be going off. Tristan Thompson, though, might get destroyed. I think we beat them. I think we. <laughs> that was so simple. We're up against the Cavs again, who honestly are kind of scary. They are scary. We'll do it again, though. We'll run it back. Simulate with Simcast. Do they stand a chance against us? Um, do they take a game this time against us? Because last time, they did not. But it's weird how it's Cavs Warriors again, just without LeBron. Um, and they're getting destroyed. They're kind of getting destroyed again. I don't know if they're going to take a game from us. It's over. It's over. Back-to-back -back champions once again for the Golden State Warriors. Now to go for that 3 -peat. Might 
the, the roster might look a little bit different though three another finals mvp just solidifying his hall of fame status his 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 career of one of the all-time greats see if we could go for the three peat the team is absolutely ridiculous um matisse is still here because he was a restricted free agent he doesn't really get a say where he wants to go <laughs> so i just brought him back i matched the offer uh one more season here we go one more season we'll see where we finish um another championship i am really really hoping i'm really really hoping we finish this with a three p our record got worse how i don't know <laughs> maybe because wiggins is starting now that i think about it but luka Doncic is the mvp tom shaw rookie of the year six man turns clark and then davis defensive player most improved allen because he is probably starting with them he they paid him 16 million he wanted like 20 million from us steve kerr though coach of the year once again wiseman makes another all nba second team no curry any longer out here uh do we still make a defensive team we do not make a defensive team no standing 60 and 22 we're five games ahead of the mavericks and still the best team in the entire nba let's go look at the statistics really quickly and end this please with the three peat i mean two championships is cool but three a three peat wiseman 22 and 12 uh lowry 22 and eight our bigs are insane and they're both seven foot tall curry 20 and 9.6 wow that's actually that's ridiculous 13 for thompson unfortunately he just keeps getting worse does that cause us to lose in the round one with against morant rj barrett Jaren, they got three pretty much three now four 90s uh clark's an 87 off the bench wow wait wait a second these teams are now kind of insane kind of ridiculous up against Minnesota, who's got to keep Malcolm Brogdon. They don't even have D'Lo anymore. Hardaway, Calden Johnson, Isaiah Stewart, Danilo Gallinari. They just keep switching up their team pretty drastically, too. Oh, almost had a heart attack. Almost had a heart attack. Phoenix, Darius Garland. Wow, that's an improvement there. Cassius Stanley. That's uh, that, uh, that, 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 85, Rui Hachimura, 83. I'm going to simulate with Simcast on this one because I'm a little scared. I'm just that's why i'm scared they have a squad oh my gosh y'all choked bad news bad news they're winning every single every single oh my gosh every c what is it it's 2-2 two -two. it's 2-2 two -two. give less minutes to matisse no i need him to lock somebody up i need him to lock somebody up you guys have too much offense wow what a close game what a close game but we're up 3-2 just finish it i know we're not at home just finish it get to the finals the east team's got to be easier seven game series the first seven game series in a minute and um we won that quarter we won that quarter we're losing this one we're losing this one. Oh my gosh i'm gonna jump in i'm gonna jump in for the sake i'm gonna jump in with three minutes left for the sake of the three peats i'm gonna try to win this game for us so here we are murray's in curry's in curry's in at the two uh easy and one all right not an and one matisse is dead tired he is on devin booker like i said i needed somebody to get clamped up that's all i needed that's all i needed run it run it keep cutting that's all i need just keep cutting the computer usually doesn't know what to do the three peat doesn't end here boys the three peat does not end here good d good d he's choking clay with two huge rebounds Larry, stop and pop. Psych. Just keep cutting. <laughs> the computer doesn't know what to do. Clay has been playing the defense of his freaking life right now, bro. Oh, God. I had a layup. I had a layup. Let's just back up. Back him up. Drive past him. No defense by Rui Hachimura whatsoever. <laughs> Woo. And now it's just a fouling game, and it's over. It's over. I'll see you guys in the finals. I don't even know who we're up against. Up against the Cavs again. Who do they have? RJ Hampton just keeps getting better. Sexton's probably a monster. Porter Jr. still there. Kind of still a low 80. Drummond is still an 89. Tyler Cook now. Malik Monk. I still think we beat them. Easily. I still think we beat them. We'll see right here. Um. Oh. Have, they've taken like one game, right? I think that's it so it's been easy against these cavaliers um and it continues to be easy against these cavaliers we're gonna sweep them we're gonna get a three-peat oh my gosh okay we might drop one now they're not gonna get absolutely swept um unless they come back but i doubt it i doubt it three-peat accomplished with this team curry no it's wiseman has taken over he's done he did that on andre drummond by the way 
22, 15 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 block, 1 steal, 56% from the field. The dynasty continued. The reason I'm looking at Curry's stats right now is because you get to see that dynasty. So from 2015 to 2024, 15, 17, 18, have a couple years of a break. They didn't win the 19, they didn't win the 20, the 21. So three years, three year break of not winning a championship, but then win it again three years in a row drop a like if you enjoy drop a comment down below what team you'd like to see me rebuild next uh probably one of the still one of the ones that i have left of these trades if you're new you enjoyed make sure to uh subscribe turn on those post notifications but as always guys thanks for watching